Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Crestwood Prep. How's everybody doing today? My name is Drew Banks from Palm Point Basketball, and it's my pleasure to be here uh, supporting this great institution. And uh, I'll be your host this morning for all the festivities. So I want to welcome the world to Crestwood Prep for a very special day in Canadian basketball as Filipina Che announces her NCAA decision. Women's basketball has been growing tremendously over the last few years. And this year, over 100 Canadian ladies will be playing NCAA Division I basketball. Filipino will join a long line of outstanding players heading south of the border in 2021. Obviously, there's a lot going on in the world these days with the coronavirus situation, but everybody, of course, especially in this building, uh, is taking the precautions necessary to keep everyone safe. And I know, I hope these ladies and the boys at the school are going to be able to play at some point this season. Filipino Che stands at six foot eight inches. The Calgary native via Ghana played provincially for Team Alberta. And she's also looking to represent the Canadian U19 team in the summer of 2021 at the World Games. And no doubt she will be one of the staples of the Canadian national team in many years to come. What a gem Canada has in Filipina Che. Right now, according to the rep, Coach Russell, Filipina is the tallest high school girls player in North America. Come on now. She's in a long line of Crestwood players like Aaliyah Edwards, Kayla Drummond, Rebecca Demek, Judea Rowe, Judea Reed, Sophia Zulich, Zakayla Morell, Faith Joseph, and Tiana Bailey, amongst many others. So enough of me. I want to introduce you to the head table, some special speakers here this morning. I will go right here beside me, the program director of Crestwood Prep, Coach Ro Russell. And two Filipinas left, the head coach of the women's team, Coach Morgan. Guest of honor sitting in the middle. It's her day. It's a beautiful day for her. Maybe one of the best she's had so far. It's going to be fantastic. You're going to be great. Filipino Che! <laughs> At this time, I want to welcome Coach Ro Russell to the podium right here to say a few words. All right, thank you. Uh, thank uh, everybody for coming out. Uh, to this uh, special occasion, um, it's uh, it's a proud moment, and uh, you know, with all the stuff that's going on right now, you know, this is good to have something positive, something you can smile about. Uh, it's, a, it's a great day for Philly, as we call her, that she was able to, you know, come from Calgary and come to a place where uh, opportunities happen, you know, development happens focus happens and uh, you know she you know went through a whole line of schools that she was uh, courting or were actually courting her and uh, she's come to a, a, a decision that where she wants to go for university next year and we're all proud of her at Crestwood she's a great young lady uh, always smiling you know a little bit shy but you know she's uh, once you get to know her then you know She's great, so uh, we're really happy that she's uh, made a decision and then she can focus on the rest of the year what she's going to do. So um, that's all I have to say, so we'll, we'll take it from there. Thank you. Thank you for
program, and obviously, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Canadian basketball is growing at a tremendous pace. And, you know, the world is looking at Canada right now. So, especially for the ladies, I think it's a tremendous opportunity for you guys because um, they recognize, I think, uh, that, that there's so much talent here. So I think you guys know, we don't have to tell you, you ladies know, uh, you put in hard work, it's going to pay off. Uh, anything you believe in, it's going to happen. So uh, keep up the great work, and we know you, you're going to be great teammates if you have been already for her, because she definitely needs your support uh, going forward. But again, I just want to say that I'm so proud of all the ladies in this building and all the ladies that are making their mark uh, in Canadian basketball. It's not going uh, unseen across the world. At this time, I'd like to welcome head coach of the senior girls team, Marlo Davis. I wanted to um, start off by just saying that I think um, Filipina and choosing to, to come to Crestwood said a lot about our program because she was probably one of the most sought after high school players in the country. And I think that was a, a testament to a lot of the athletes that have come before her that are, that are gone. Some of the names just mentioned, um, Aliyah, Rebecca, Cheyenne, Tasha, a lot of different players that have put on the Crestwood jersey has committed to, to our goal as a group. And her choosing us, I think, was a testament to the work they put in. And what she's doing now is going to lead to our team continuing to grow. Um, obviously, we're a very young team. And um, I'm really I'm excited to, to hopefully get a game in before she gets out of here. But um, her, her work ethic every day that she brings to the gym is, is something that's contagious. And I think that's what's going to really set her apart and give her a head start when she gets to the next level. And we have, like I said, we have a really young team. So we're going to continue to try to grow. And these guys are going to try to continue to make her proud when she moves on and looks back at the time she spent with this group. And again, I'm fortunate to, to be around her every day. So is the rest of us. And like you said, it's a special day for her, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Before I ask Coach Marlo a question, um, you know, people may not know her as much here in Ontario, uh, but when you've been around her quite a bit in the last few months, what does she bring to the table? Um, personally, her, her personality is contagious. Um, she gives it all she's got. We, we do some girls and when she touches the ladies on the floor, she's that tired, but that's something that I love to see because I mean, she's leaving it all on the floor. Um, Basketball-wise, she, she's a dominant force, um, and it, it's tough to score around her. Um, and secretly, her, her ability to pass is probably one of her most underrated gifts. Um, as, as much as I want her to score, she, she looks for her teammates first on almost every catch, so I think her ability to make others around her better is her gift right now. That's amazing. It's going to be like Magic Johnson, I'm telling you, with that passing ability. Uh, yeah, so we, uh, we're definitely glad to have everybody here. And we have a special presentation as well. So at this time, we'll ask you to take a look at the projector screen. And we have a video presentation of Filipina Shay. Courtesy of Universal Rules and Robot Rules. First up, I want to start by saying thank you to my friends for being there for me from the day one. I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me and making me the person I am today. I also want to say thank you to CBA, especially Coach John and Coach Kerry, and thank you for helping me become the best basketball player I am today. I have to enjoy my time here at Crestwood. I will never forget the relationship I had between each of my first year. A huge part of the community and she'll be a big part of the forever. Uh, she's made a big impact in the moment she's been here and uh, we're really excited to be here. So once uh, Philly started to get comfortable at Crestwood, we sent some videos out with her to different coaches and so forth. And uh, folks started to call and you know, she's a no brainer. Her family um, decided to know where, where she was going to school. And uh, she was really strong on you know, one particular school that had all what she wanted. And she got you know, good relationships with you know, some of the players. And um, you know, she decided where she wants to go. As a player, she, she continues to grow the game. And I think her, her gift right now is that she just wants to be great. She's striving for more, continuously trying to work hard, and is 
improving. Um, she's very selfish about her development, which is something that we really push her at rest with, and it's just individual growth. I think that is the key to the successful team is that everybody is, is committed to their individual goals. They know it is going to result in um, a better team and the team being successful as a whole. I want to say thank you to Coach Marlo and Coach Jay for always being tough on me and always finding time to help me fix my mistakes. You know, Coach Marlo tried to start it too. I've been working with her on the game. She wanted her to be here a lot better than what she can. I also want to say again, thank you to Coach Ro for not only being the coach but also being my guardian. I got to know her really good and became like a father figure to her. And I uh, started to mentor her, show her the ropes, and, and just, you know, been there for her uh, whenever she needed me. I would just say I always work hard. She's really hard work here at Jason to get to the next level so she can compete as long as she wants to. Because I know she can do great things. So her, her energy um, in, in the gym is amazing because she that balance of working hard and enjoying what you're doing and having fun. Um, she pushes her teammates, like she's the one that's passing on the baseline, um, bringing kids on and different things like that. And I think that's something that's going to transfer very well for her at the collegiate level because she's already bought into what it means to be a good teammate. It's been really great having her in here. Her energy has been fantastic. And whatever school she decides to go to, they're going to be very lucky to have her. And everyone in the present community really looks forward to watching her play in large Madness with some of our alumni in the next uh, years to come. I'm looking forward to, to seeing her play and, and on that big screen and, and doing what she loves to do. Um, with that infection smile, we'll continue to make everyone at Crestwood and Alberta, Canada, Ghana, and across the world all of us check for her and just being back to her like we already are. And I, I can't wait to, to see her have fun and be who she is and show the world the, the love that she has for the game. Philly is the next in line of uh, the division one prospects that we've gotten, developed, educated, and help them get up to the next level. Thank you to all the universities that offered me a scholarship to attend this school and play ball. University of Miami, Louisville, Oregon, Maryland, and Texas. But I think I know where I was going. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, as Filipina Che announces her college decision. And I am proud to say, Filipina will be attending the University of Oregon! Kelly <laughs> Graves, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I know you're one that, you know, short of words, but you're here now, and guess what? When you get to Oregon, they're not going to leave you alone. So you might as well, you know, get your practice in right now. How does it feel for you? We know your family's back home in Calgary, uh, your family back in the motherland as well in Ghana. Uh, how does it feel for you? Well, I want to say I'm very happy. Like, I want to thank everyone for supporting me from day one. And I also want to thank my parents and all the coaches for raising me to be the best person I am today. This must be, I know it's a little bit nervous for you, but, but it's still a special day. Um, what can you tell the young ladies, not only on your team, but coming up uh, in Canadian basketball, looking to reach the heights that you're reaching right now? Well, first of all, I'll just say, just keep working hard and like, keep chasing your dreams. You know, don't give up on what you want. What is coming over here to Ontario uh, under the tutelage of the legendary coach Rowe and the fast rising head coach Marlo Davis? What has that done for your development? Well, since I got here, I've been like training and been helping me to be like really good and like helping me with like the mistakes I had and everything. Definitely. Well, you're definitely a role model. There you go. The world's watching. You're a role model to everybody coming up. We look forward to seeing you playing in Oregon. And of course, you're playing, hopefully, before you get there, a few games at four more for Crestwood Prep and then for the national team one day. Thank you so much and congratulations for being here. Thank you. There you have it. So we'll take some photos now. First, uh, with the head table with Coach Rowe and Coach 
tomorrow, and then we will get the teammates to come up and take a picture with Filipina as well. All right, so stick around. We're not going anywhere. We're going to take a few pics and continue the ceremony.